Yo, what's up everybody? Llama here, and I've got a game of some Titanfall on the map Demeter here, which uh, pretty good score. I wasn't going to post this. I posted the uh, video yesterday over this one, because this looks like a uh, Black Ops 2 map. The killers aren't too, uh, they're not quite there. It's a little dark and dreary and stuff. I found uh, some of the brighter maps to be a little bit nicer, which um, I forget what the one map is. It's the rainy one. I think that's my favorite map in the game, just because um, the killer element and stuff of it, and it reminds me of... Uh, what was it, Downpour from Call of Duty 4, only with the uh, parkour and stuff in this game, just makes it super awesome to play with, so, um, yeah, here I get a pretty good score in this game, so I was, yesterday when I was playing this, I was doing the challenges to go to the, uh, third generation, which is, like, third prestige, so there was a few different ones you had to kill, uh, I think it's, like, 80 enemy titans with a 40 millimeter cannon, which I really didn't like using that thing so much, just because I like the, uh, LMG gun, whatever it is, the saw gun for the Titan. I think it's way easier to kill enemy grunts and stuff like that. And you'll see once I get in it how you can uh, rack up attrition points like crazy with that thing, and how you can drop uh, 100 points easy every game. You can get anywhere from like uh, let me get anywhere from like 60, the lowest, to like 90 usually. And then um, I got a few 100 point games, not too many of them though. But um, when you get them, they're pretty nice. So uh, the first thing you want to do is kill a lot of enemy grunts because um, they're worth one attrition point. So that's gonna bring down your cooldown timer, which is in the uh, Bottom right, I think it starts out at 4 minutes, and then for every enemy you kill, it takes off a certain uh, percentage of time. So if you kill pilots, it's going to take off way more than grunts, but uh, kill grunts are pretty easy too. And now this gun for the Titan is pretty cool because you can see it's uh, so easy to kill people with. The uh, 40 mil cannon I was struggling with just because um, if people are up top on like higher ground and stuff, you can't really kill them. If they're on, uh, on the ground, I'm sure you can squash them or shoot them. It's pretty easy, but if there's like pilots camping up top, like I think a lot of people... Uh, like to stay on the higher ground when titans are up it's definitely difficult to kill them with uh that there is uh the rail gun too which i couldn't use too much i used the one under it which was kind of like the rail gun and shot the electricity thing out only it uh didn't have to charge up first you could charge it if you wanted to or you can just shoot it uh as is and it would kill uh, enemy pilots or enemy ai pretty good you don't have to charge that thing so that was one i enjoyed using but this thing uh i like it i am using the extended mags with it i wanted to try to get the attachment for uh shooting faster which i think i'm pretty close to getting i just need to get a few more kills here i get radioed a lot of people like to use electric smoke but i would rather have the uh either the vortex or the uh the little wall shield since um we really don't get radioed too much when you do you just jump out and shoot the guy especially if you've got like an assault rifle or something because most of them are too dumb to jump off although that guy was actually uh smart enough too so i didn't get the kill there but uh he ran off i was like forget wherever he's at just get back in the titan and try to pick up some kills and then i think that's the same guy behind me so we end up uh killing him there but you can see him just shooting a lot of enemy uh, ai and stuff like that just shoot people on the ground if you can get your titan first uh, you can pretty much dominate the game just kill a bunch of people and then once your teammates start getting titans in if you can just get the majority of titans before the enemy does it's uh pretty easy to kind of dictate a match of attrition and stuff like that especially you see where that guy spawns trying to shoot him in the back but they got two titans here so i couldn't do anything and that's the uh, one uh drawback of the saw titan gun thingy titan loadout whatever it is the weapon i guess is it uh sucks against other titan weapons if they've got something stronger most likely they're going to kill you unless you've got a few more titans on your team here i'm using the auto lock on uh launcher since i just uh this is the first game since i went into the second prestige or whatever on this thing so didn't have anything good here you see it's like the burn card with the uh, sidewinder i always kill those little things i don't know if they turn into specters or what but um the little marvin dudes but you get uh challenges for killing so many of them i think if you uh kill 25 of them there you see you get a little burn card for it and then you get a uh, challenge xp and stuff which is nice so um yeah i tried out the story mode it took like an hour to finish uh one half i guess there's two of them but um <laughs> i unlocked the titan with a lot of speed but not the damage i was trying to unlock the ogre but you have to do both sides and it only gives me one side it's the imc it doesn't let me play as a militia so i guess i'll play through again as the imc and see if i can um get it maybe there's just a glitch in it or something but uh you get more achievements and then it's kind of one of the Ogre Titans since it's got more uh, more armor ability and stuff like that. It's a little slower, but it can take way more damage than the uh, Chasis or whatever the default Titan is. So, um, yeah, like I said, just kind of uh, killing enemies and stuff like that here in um pretty close game, too, for me. I think say 55 points, not too many yet, but uh, a little over halfway into it here. And then, um, what else? So you can see this guy's got some damage taken down already. Use the... Uh, Great bumper too. I saw a lot of people are not using their rockets and stuff when they're engaging you. And there you can see he has a uh, nuclear, which actually saves people a lot of the time, just because uh, you don't want to go in for the melee kill and stuff. And they have nuclear, it's gonna kill you if you're too close. So you want to uh, back up a little bit. I think I was using the uh, auto ejection. That was a good one to use in case um, 
your Titan's Doom. There's that, and there's the one where once you get Doomed, you get a little bit more health, so it doesn't go away as quickly. There's a lot of uh, good balance perks in this game for everything, especially the Titans. I would like to see a little bit more uh, weapons, more assault rifles and stuff like that, and a little bit more perks for your pilot, but uh, I think they did a pretty good job with this game anyways. And then for everyone saying like we're gonna see Titanfall 2 out on the PS4 next year, it's like I think they're gonna take a little bit longer. Hopefully we will see it on the PS4, but the only downside to it being on Sony consoles, and this is gonna be the downside of the 360 version too, is it runs at uh, 60 frames a second on the Xbox One. It can do the same thing on the PS4, but a little bit better, better uh, resolution. Not that it matters, it looks good enough anyways. But um, the downside is they don't use EA's dedicated servers, they use the 300,000 uh, Microsoft dedicated servers for this game. So if it was on the PS4 for Titanfall 2, I think you would get either EA's crappy servers or peer-to-peer -peer network, so it'd just be like Call of Duty, which would kind of hurt it in a way, because that's like one of the great things about this game is they're using the uh, Azor servers, whatever the hell the company is that Microsoft bought out. So um, I don't know, I think PlayStation Network give it a year or two and it's gonna be up there in servers since they didn't charge for PS3 for the longest time. I think that's why uh, it wasn't on par with Xbox Live, but um, with them giving away so many games for uh, PlayStation Plus, even if you don't have a PS4 and you have a PS3, it's still an insanely good deal. It's like 50 bucks a year and they're giving you free $40 games every month and stuff like that, so uh, good deal, and then um, what do we get for PS4 coming out, or not PS4, PS3, I forgot, uh, MLB The Show comes out in a month for the PS3, and then in two months for uh, the PS4, which kind of sucks, it's only going to come out in May for that, so I don't know if they're going to do a thing similar to what Call of Duty did, where it was like you buy it for the 360, and then you can get the Xbox One version for $10 more or whatever, but um, I don't know if anybody's going to do that to get it for the PS3 and then for the PS4, or if you guys are just going to wait to uh, get it for the PS4. If they did that deal, I guess it would be kind of good. You get it, you get to play it for a full month for only uh, 10 bucks more, and then you get the PS4 version. But um, I think they only did that for like one day. Like, I got the Xbox One right after Christmas. I got a bunch of gift cards, and I went to GameStop. And I was like, yeah, I got a... Uh, what was it? Ghost for uh, 360. I was like, can I get my digital thing? I have this one to trade in. They're like, oh, that lasted like three days. It's like, oh, way to screw people on those... Uh, digital sales when you say you can get it for $10 off at any time. I guess you have the three day period, but um, I feel like we're gonna see more uh, digital downloads just because GameStop can die because they annoy the hell out of you. It's like, uh, yeah, I don't want your little uh, power up card, dude. If you want to ask me 12 more times, it would be uh, annoying. <laughs> I don't get why they have to do that. I know they have to sell so many of them, but it's like, no, I don't I don't want to pay 20 bucks for a little card because they don't come in here that often. They're like, oh, you can save eight cents on your trade-in credits. It's like, yeah, I'm good. I don't want to trade in a game either. The only, the only stuff I trade in is like Madden and stuff like that, which is like, alright, I'm not going to play this again, but um, trading in not uh, like Call of Duty and stuff, I think it's a waste, they're going to give you like $15 in store credit, and it's like a game's worth more than 15 bucks to me, I've had uh, a lot of fun playing it, even though it's pretty campy, and then, um, I don't know, if I pop it back in, you can always get into Call of Duty and stuff like that, probably not after playing this one, but um, here, these are just some tips for attrition here, you see we end up winning by like 20 points, which kind of sucks, I was getting paired off with a lot of people, who weren't that great, which a lot of people are complaining about um, the matchmaking and stuff in this game. Whoa, I don't think I just hit puberty there, just woke up as my voice was all uh, croaky or whatever the hell, whatever word I'm looking for. But um, yeah, a lot of people are complaining about the matchmaking. They're like, dude, I get paired up with people who suck. It's like, well, even if uh, they had really good matchmaking where it pairs you up level versus level base, anytime people are in parties and stuff like that and they have the lower level who's the party, then of course the higher level guy is going to get in with crappier people. So. They can fix it to a certain extent, but um, I don't know. I think that matchmaking is fine how it is. I'd rather have it. Everyone just plays with each other instead of doing the um, per skill thing. They still got the leaderboards and stuff anyway, so people can't see your stats, which um, is actually a good thing. It um, deters camping and makes people want to run around more, I would think, because in Call of Duty, everyone's like, oh, i got to get my KD up so everyone can see how good I am in this game. It's like, yeah, you're the only one who can see it, so uh, just have fun playing the game instead of going for stupid stats and stuff. That's it, guys. More Titanfall on the way, and then uh, MLB, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of franchises on that once it comes out. Oh, so I actually finally fixed my um, Comcast internet so I can stream from Twitch from my Xbox, so I might be doing that later tonight or something. Um, I'll put out a video if I do it, but I had a annoying trouble with Comcast, not working with the Xbox One, which I found a really good fix for, so I'll post a separate video on that of how to port forward, because now the uh, Xbox works before I couldn't connect to any servers because uh, Comcast and Xbox apparently uh, gay and don't want to work right together. But um, yeah, I'll make a video uh, how to fix that since I'm sure other people are having that problem. So uh, that's it, guys. All right. Um, yeah, peace. And I forget to hit stop. Wait, there we go.